Okay, if you're struggling with Azrai Nagamasa, here's how to beat him very easily with just a pair of dual swords. Just like all my other boss guides, you don't need a build for this at all. All you need is the Windstorm skill, which can be unlocked in minutes using whatever dual swords you've got in your inventory. All you have to do is wait for him to do his leaping up attack, hold guard, and as soon as you block him with your guard button still held down, press and hold triangle for the Windstorm skill. Once the Windstorm is finished, double dodge backwards and out of range to safety. If you have the sign of the cross skill, you can also use it on him while he's walking you down as it will usually take you right through him, but you do need to get your distance and timing right or you can get caught, so you may prefer to just keep your distance to bait out his leap attack and use Windstorm only. It's up to you. I will say using sign of the cross is 90% safe though if you get used to the distance to activate it from and only use it after he's recently done a leap attack. Don't use it if there's been a slight break between attacks as you'll almost certainly leap up halfway through the sign of the cross animation and get you. For the rest of the fight, be ready to press block in case he throws projectiles at you and get prepared to dodge away to a safe distance if he goes red and spawns those water pools everywhere. Once his key is gone, he'll go into the dark realm. When he flies up, try to get under him and hold guard. If you're directly under him, you'll block everything he has to give and his initial flying attack will miss you. His second attack after the first flying attack will usually be a flying red attack. Use the Feral Guardian Spirit to interrupt that. If you mistime it, the Feral Spirit will make you sail on by and usually save you from any damage at all. He also has a Ground Red Attack, which is the one you want to see. Keep your eye out for it, then Burst Counter it. Every time you Burst Counter any of his Red Attacks in this phase, immediately follow up with a Windstorm Attack. 99% of the time, and doing so will be safe, as Windstorm usually pushes him back a little, then double dodge backwards to a safe distance again once you've finished the Windstorm. If he does a few red attacks and you nail the burst counters during the Dark Realm phase, it'll end pretty quickly. If you miss a few it's okay, as you'll still be safe and the Dark Realm phase will run out of its own accord eventually anyway. So to repeat, during the Dark Realm phase, keep at a distance while looking for either his red ground attack or for when he rises into the air. Burst counter the red ground attack, if he rises in the air, run or dodge under him and hold guard. Not much changes after the first Dark Realm phase, though he can throw a few more projectile attacks than he did in the first phase. Just be ready to hold guard and block a little more often than usual, but since you'll still be at a distance ready to block his leaping attack, that shouldn't be a problem for you. All his distance attacks can be safely blocked. You can also use the Feral Guardian Spirit to dodge out of the way. If you accidentally activate Windstorm or Sign of the Cross and you see the boss immediately starts to make a move, you can interrupt your skill with the Feral Burst Teleport to get to safety, so be prepared to use that as frequently as you need. Also, if you use Sign of the Cross, sometimes he will block it or you'll end up right in front of him upon completion of the move, in which case get into the habit of immediately double dodging forward and through him the moment you finish the Sign of the Cross move. This more or less guarantees you won't get hit no matter what he does in return. Just remember in the Dark Realm phase, uh, don't attack him first. He has a grab move that if you're not prepared for will more than likely kill you. Stay at a distance the whole time and just wait for those burst counters. The best one is the one where he goes red while on the ground because it's very easy to counter. And always follow up your burst counters with Windstorm, which will push him back. If you kind of time your Windstorm a little late, then just don't do it and back off and wait. Basically patience is the key with this. If you're rocking dual swords with high attack value, this will go even faster. Here I'm using zero buffs, I have no points in skill to perk dual swords, I've got no gear to perk damage on them either, and the dual swords themselves that I'm using have no special perks, they're just the highest level I had in my inventory. I didn't even look at what they were when I equipped them, I just put them on because it didn't really matter. The strat is what matters, but if you did put points into skill to buff the attack value on the dual swords you have, you'll be able to annihilate him fast just using this strat alone. If you're trying to get through without getting hit, then you probably won't want to deviate from anything I've said here. However, once you get a handle on fighting in this way, you may want to add in some more aggressive play. This is actually a really fun fight when you engage the boss properly. In this video, I'm showing a really passive, very defensive way to help those who are struggling. But if you're in that boat, know that if you get this strat down, there's nothing stopping you from adding in some more aggressive play to make the whole encounter way more fun. I really wanted to say that because when you're struggling with a boss it can make a fight quite tedious, but if you get a handle on what it takes to stay alive, after that you can have a great time in these boss fights if you actually start trying to fight the boss rather than just get the win. That said, you can always come back and fight the boss at another time anyway, so play this however you like. Oh, and I should also say don't forget your yokai abilities. He's quite susceptible to being put down into a grapple mode if his key is low and his stagger bar is high. 
But for the most part, this strat is about staying safe, so if you're completely unsure, just pace yourself and windstorm him into oblivion. Anyway, that's it for another non-build based boss guide. I hope this helps you out if you needed the help. I'm Fuzzy Barbarian, and I'll see you in the next vid. Bye for now.